All right, we made it. <laughs> we made it through three quarters of the year. We got one quarter left to finish off on a high note and start the new year on an even higher note. Now, here's what I want you to do right now. I want you to look over your AMH, audience, marketing, and hustle. Ask yourself, where is most of my business coming from? Who is that audience that I'm talking to on a regular basis? Which audience is delivering most of my business? That is the audience you want to go after. The next one you want to look at, you want to look over your marketing budget. We are at a moment in time right now, going into Q4, we got a little bit of time left, and I'm going to say a little bit, because a lot of people think they got about 90 days left. You probably got about 70 days left of this year, because you got to take those holidays into consideration. So what we want to do is we want to look over that marketing budget, ask ourselves, using that Mindshare Model T, how much money am I putting out there for marketing dollars right now? And is that money driving ROI, or is that money just going out there because, well, I like to see myself while I'm driving down the street? You know what I'm saying? We want to make sure that our marketing dollars are actually working for us, that they're not just a feel good. And when we're talking marketing, we're talking about generating leads, we're talking about following up with leads, we're talking about converting leads, and turning those leads into clients, therefore we can get more referrals. Which takes us to the next part, not only marketing dollars, but what marketing channels are we leveraging, right? Which of the seven ways to communicate are we using every single day? Word to the wise, you should be using all seven of them, right? But what are we using? What are we actually leveraging? What do we know as we, 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 we review it and analyze it? What's actually bringing in the money, right? What's bringing in the business? Which marketing channels have you found are very lucrative? Um, which ones need some more support? Which ones might not be working whatsoever? You wanna look over all of your marketing channels, figure out what they add up to in terms of dollars. See if one, they're on budget, but two, if they're driving any ROI. That's something you should be doing right now because we got three quarters left in the year and the marketing that you apply for the next three quarter, or three uh, three months left in the year, the marketing that you apply over the next three months, well, that's what's gonna help you really either, again, hit those goals or surpass those goals. And the final one here comes down to effort, right? How much effort are you putting in every single day? Are you dedicated to the process? Are you empowering time to, to you know, manage you and are you scheduling everything? Are you really locked and loaded into what's got to happen? Or have you started to coast? Have you started to get complacent on what's going on here? Because you know what? You smash those goals or you're a little fearful because you're, you, you don't seem to be getting close to those goals. One thing I want to also remind you about is goals. Goals are not necessarily meant to be hit. Goals are one of these things that are meant to drive us. They're meant to help us keep our hand on the throttle. So again, whether you've totally crushed them, whether you're getting close to them, whether you're not even close, but you know that you're working hard because they're there, well, that's why they're there, is to keep pushing you to put in that effort. So again, the third part of the AMH is the hustle, is the effort that we put into our every day. So the big question becomes, how much effort are you putting in or are you just thinking about it? So again, you're going to review your audience, where's most of my business coming from, you're going to review your marketing, what, what kind of dollars am I spending, what channels are working the most, where can I scale accordingly to do more, and then you're going to review how much hustle you're actually putting in, that effort, because again, it's the effort that helps us achieve the results.